right, Goofy. All right, so here we are at Tokyo Disney Sea for day two. And first thing, right off the bat, we hopped in a line to beat some Mickey. Meet Mickey, and uh, we got a uh, big old time here. I don't know what that means, but uh, we, means we got a ticket. Out. It means we're in line and we're gonna meet some Mickey. You saw some of the characters hopping out, having some fun here, so. Yeah, yeah it's good. We're enjoying this. Uh, and we're going to have lots of fun, show you some things that we didn't get around to yesterday. It really is a beautiful park, but it's just very... It's different. And yes. I, I think we, have, we were not prepared for this park at all. It's a Right. Lot. You don't just blunder in here yeah, and, and, and do it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's not intuitive. It's very not intuitive, but... <laughs> this is true, yes. Yeah. So, but either way, we're having a good time here. Still in line to meet Mickey, but uh, Goofy's hanging out here. And just to give you guys like an actual perspective on the lines here at Tokyo Disney Sea. We've been in line for about, what, half an hour, maybe? I would say, yeah, maybe, maybe 20, 20 minutes. minutes yeah. yeah, and the line is like literally all the way through there. There's a nice close-up of squeak you, okay. and then through here, and a little bit further up, you can kind of see Mickey there, but, um, yeah, by and large, you're going to have a lot of lines here at Tokyo Disney. It's like, we always think, okay, we've hit maximum crowd <laughs> adaptation. Hey, Goofy! You the man! Goofy is awesome. He is awesome. Oh, and there's uh, Daisy hanging out. Daisy! Get a picture of her. Oh, fabulous. So yeah, at Tokyo Disney, you will see characters just sort of pop out. And that's a nice touch. That's that's a retro Disneyland sort of touch, you know. You don't get that too much in Orlando, so it's good. Well, they are in a hurry. <laughs> So, update on the character meeting Sitch. Um, now it's a uh, mini. Um, so I guess at the Tokyo parks, if you get in line to meet one character, be prepared. The characters might swap out, but I mean, it's not like we're too good to meet well, many. The ticket does say you cannot okay. select. Okay. The yes, Disney they give you. Meet, they so. give you a ticket that lists the rules. Um, uh, people have to be in line at the same time um, only one photo so it can't be like oh take a photo with her and with this camera etc etc uh, so um, yeah so it does uh, they do have a better system than like Orlando or California with that and yeah you don't get to control which Disney character it is but ooh, that is weird you get in line thinking you're gonna meet one character and then it changes so Maybe that's something that could be improved on, but they do let you know. Yeah, I mean, it's not like it, they brought out Stitch or something. Yeah, we would get out of here. You know? <laughs> but yeah, still a good time I here. Ah, uh, yes, the lost uh, sunk cost mentality, indeed. <laughs> What's that? Well, basically it states that if you've done something for so long, even if you aren't sure you'll get a payout or that the payout is what you thought it would be, you'll still stick with it because you've already invested so much time and effort. Yes. Indeed, why. yes. That's basically how much it is. Yes. And that just opened the comment section to a whole political debate, didn't it? Har, har, har.
Kind of hard to see, but they got a marching band up on the stage there. Azime Maste Mini. Can we get a picture of you? All right, everyone. So this is inside uh, the Triton Castle. We'll record a little bit more once we get further in. Uh, I can't see what the uh, proclamation says. Gaul Underwater Kingdom, welcome. Sup? So it's up. So yeah, welcoming humans to under the sea life here. Yeah, no, that didn't come through at all. Yeah. Yeah, I might, I might insert it. You never know what I might do. There might be quality editing here. So much quality, but yeah, we're here at Triton's Castle, and well, it feels well, not like the sea, but. All right, everyone. So, uh, this is beautiful. So we got a little bit of everything going on here. It's kind of fabulous here. It, you got some spinny rides here. Uh, I will not be And I don't know what those things are, but they look kind of cool. Maybe like a swing ride there with the puffer fish and a theater. And, ooh, are those like the little jellyfish things uh, from uh, California? Ooh, yeah. So, this, and uh, I think we got maybe a little kids play area over there. So this is Triton's Kingdom, and I'm blown away like this. This is awesome, man. So if you're a Little Mermaid fan, you gotta check this out if you're in the Tokyo area. All right, everyone, so we got some uh, ice cream sandwiches sea here, ice cream. sea salt ice cream. Look at the wrapper, so pretty. It is pretty, so we'll try some sea salt ice cream, and uh, I'll be recording once we have a few tastes, and we'll let you know what we think. Mm. Yeah. It smells good. Yeah. Ice cream do opens the thing. Opening the thing. We get a pick of it as is. You know how foofy you gotta Instagram it. Look at Squeak Do, ready to eat the thing. Do you just <laughs> shove it in there? Yep. Like that? Mmm. Think it's good? Yep. Alright, so, uh,. Ron do if you wouldn't mind holding the camera and okay. logging it here. This is how professionals do. You, you, do you see me? No. <laughs> we'll get there, team. We'll, we'll, we'll. I still don't see it. And so we just got done with um, the Triton's Theater thing. Yeah, it was a fun concert. It was so good. They have like a big, awesome King Triton animatronic. Yeah, that was really cool. And then like, um, they had Ariel kind of swimming in this like sky above you because you're in the sea. Right, yeah, it's like an aerial acrobatic show. Ha! <laughs> Aerial acrobatics. <laughs> yeah, do you like it, Ramdu? I did. It was very good. Um, it was so fast, though. I yeah, you, you, they, they, they leave yeah. you wanting more. They Definitely. certainly do, yeah. But it was a way more impressive than the one at uh, Hollywood Studios. Not to throw shade, yeah, but... Uh, not to throw shade, but... It's very, but yeah. Yeah, it was very... Um, it was... Fabulous yes, in every single good. way. <laughs> and over here is the mermaid shop. The sleepy whale shop. The sleepy whale shop. Okay, and then that shop down there is the mermaid's treasures. Yeah, so yeah, we did catch him opening and closing his eyes. Now his eyes are closed. He'll open them again. He'll have to get up and go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, you know. So he'll open his eyes to do that. 
And over here is a quick service restaurant. I don't know what sorts Sebastian. of things they serve. Probably some seafood. I don't think this one had listed any particular vegetarian options. So if you're a vegetarian coming here, uh, this restaurant may not necessarily be for you. But um, yeah, a quick serve little restaurant if you need a little pick me up. And we just got done with that uh, sea salt and raspberry ice cream. It was, it was pretty so good. Delicious. Yeah. Ah, yeah. See? We weren't kidding that the uh, whale opens and closes their eyes. See? Sleepy whale. Such a sleepy whale. So yeah, a good time over here at Tokyo Disney Sea. We're chilling with King Triton and uh, yeah, he likes having us and we like being with him. Yeah, I guess after Ariel married Eric, he kind of changed his mind about humans. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, maybe they aren't all horrible. Just 87% of them. Oh, and there's Pluto in uh, his uh, scuba gear. Probably really oh. hard to see. Yeah, there he is. Yeah. yeah Triton also allows pups, too. Yeah, Triton now allows uh, pups in his uh, underwater kingdom, but uh, <laughs> only Mickey's pup, though. But um, yeah, it might be really difficult to see, but uh, we got Pluto, and you can't go wrong. All right, everyone, so this right here is the Lost River Delta area of Tokyo Disney Sea, and got all sorts of good stuff here. It's kind of a jungle, South American jungle uh, themed thing. We're getting ready to head into our next show, Song of Mirage. I may not be able to record any of that. They've been kind of a weird about recording stuff, uh, like the major shows. They didn't let me record any of Big Bam Beat yesterday, but um, yeah, we're just strolling along the Lost River Delta here. Still very, very busy today, and it's a Wednesday today, you know? I always think, okay, I've mastered crowd management. Nah, I haven't mastered nothing. And right there, I think, is the really big uh, Indiana Jones roller coaster. Kind of a big, scary boy there. And there are some quick service restaurants here. And yeah, it has just sort of that uh, almost Adventureland kind of feel to it here at Lost River Delta. So yeah, all in all a pretty good time, but this is what this area of Tokyo Disney Sea looks like, and this is what you can expect. All right, everyone, so um, been a while since I talked, but um, we're having some uh, dessert here from the uh, Cosba Food Court. We're actually eating outside of the restaurant. I don't know why, but um, yeah. we are, but um, yeah, the Cosba thing, it's the um, peach strawberry milk thing. It's a lot of flavor. It's not bad, but it's a lot of flavor going on. What do you guys think of it? What do you think about it, Rob New? That's the look of someone who bites into something that they don't like the garbage. It's a, a lot of flavor. It is a lot of flavor. It's not bad, but ooh, it'll uh, it'll whop you. I, I just wanted to try it, and we're here, you know? It looked kind of good, but man, it's a lot going on. We did the Song of Mirage, a very good show. Um, I love that. Very interactive with the uh, stage and projections and performers up and down the aisle about El Dorado. Wasn't allowed to record in that one, but it was pretty good. And yeah, we're here just chilling in the Arabian coast here at Disney Sea and um, probably going to do a lot of the same things we did yesterday. So maybe a minute before I talk to you guys again, but we're having a good time here on our second day at Disney Sea in Tokyo. All right, everyone. So that little dot in the sombrero there is Duffy in his Day of the Dead gear. We're here at um, the Lost River Delta port. 
We're getting ready to take a big old boat over to the um, American waterfront. Yeah, so we're just sitting here waiting, waiting, and just waiting. Sinbad. Yeah, we just did Sinbad, which we've shown already in the previous day's vlog. And yeah, now we're just waiting for the boat. Yeah. And I'll record some boating. Because boats. Hardcore boat footage. Hardcore boat footage. Alright everyone, so this is the Cape Cod area here at Disney Sea, and I think that clock might be accurate. Yeah, it's like seven minutes uh, slow, but um, yeah, looking over at the nice lighthouse, you can tell they uh, certainly watched a lot of Hallmark. Somewhere in this area there's a dinner thing where you can um, hang out with Duff Fee, a um, character dinner with Duffy as the character and uh, yeah this is a gift shop that really specializes in Duffy but overall this is a really solid area and they capture that New England feel even though I've never actually been to New England so Duffy so much Duffy and he has friends Shelly Mae, Stella Lou and Gelatoni I have no idea which one is which or what they do. But, wow, that is a lot of Duffy. You can buy Duffy spirit wear. And the actual store is real nice. It has that quaint feel, very homey and classic American. And it just really absolutely nails it. You got the old cast iron stove there, filled with Duffy stuff. So much Duffy. <laughs> Alright everyone, so this is the Toyville Trolley Park. And you move in through here, and it's really pretty. And it's all kind of old-timey and themed around Toy Story. Fast passes for Toy Story Mania are completely done, you know, and it's an hour and a half wait now, so yeah, it's much of value, you know, or you can head over to Orlando and do it in 15 minutes if you do early magic hours, but they got a few gift shops here, and I don't know what the Toy Box Playhouse does, but um, I'm sure it does something. And Carnival Corral, rustle up some fun, so you can, maybe that's like a run in place as fast as you can. Okay, so you run in place here, and yeah, it's good. So, not a huge area, but a fun little addendum to the, you know, 
American waterfront area. It's nice. It's good. Um, we tried the lottery. Um, if I run by it again, I'll show where the lottery for Big Bam Beat is. It's immediately, it, as you enter the park, keep heading left. It's by some of those shops there. And what you do, you put your park ticket on a scanner, and it's just basically luck of the draw if um, you win a seat for Big Bam Beat. I mean, it's really entirely a game of chance there. It's an automated system. You can do it in English. Uh, if I run by it again, I'll uh, be sure to show it to you guys. But um, yeah, so if we run by the lottery again, we'll um, be sure to show some of that. But this is the um, uh, Toyville Trolley Park. It's good. So trolley parks, uh, but we've never done the any real trolley parks. Um, uh, I don't think Cincinnati really has them, but there's Camden Park in West Virginia, which might be... A trolley park? It's um, a small little area where that were on um, uh, trolley car stops. So the trolley would stop, and then people would get out and have a fun day at the park. So, yeah, nothing huge, like, so they would never be the size of, like, King's Island or Disney like Sea. Carnival? Like, a small carnival, a, maybe a little bigger than a carnival, and, like, it stays there. And the idea was, you know, for a Sunday afternoon of fun, you get off the trolley and you hang out at the trolley park. I wonder if Chester Park um, in Cincinnati... You know, my Chester... My grandparents met and where my grandpa proposed to my grandma. I wonder if that would be considered a trolley car. I don't know if the trolley went... But it was not a little park. It was a huge amusement park back in the So, then that might have been a little bit bigger than what people would normally consider a trolley park would be. But yeah, see what you learned? Yeah, so trolley parks and Toy Story and uh, yeah, Chester Park. If we run by the lottery again, I'll show you guys just what I mean by where it is. And uh, it was, yeah, the map is completely useless and actually getting you there. So when we run by it again, I'll um, show. And on a, a map or whatever, your guide for the day, I didn't see anything listed about a lot. Yeah, they word. don't. Not they put it on like Big Lotteria, but it's like spelled weird. And Big Lotteria. It's in Italian. Yeah. Big Lotteria. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So here is the Big Lotteria. Biglietteria. That's how I would pronounce it. Biglietteria. And as you immediately come into the park, head left and just sort of hug the left here. Don't go up any ramps or steps. It's, as you can see, underneath um, some stairs. So you'll come right into the park, head left. You'll go past the gondolier snacks and Via Donaldo. And you can see right in here, a little difficult to see because it's uh, dark now, but it's automated kiosks. They're self-explanatory if you um, press your language there, so they are self-explanatory, but um, yeah, it's really good to do those vacation packages. Those will go ahead and get you um, squared away to actually see the Big Bam Beach show. This does not apply to Song of Mirage. I don't know what the process is for that. Um, vacation packages, you can select Song of Mirage or Big Bam Beach. So, um, might be worth it to look into the vacation package, guarantee yourself a good seat for the show too. Like, it, the vacation package seats are kind of like front and center. Like, it's the perfect view. And, well, look at the moon over this beautiful area. I absolutely adore this little area here. And there's one other thing that I kind of want to just, yeah, I'll just take a little stroll around here, you know? Because there's so much cool stuff around here. And my camera battery is dying, but, um, yeah, I'll show some cool stuff. All right. So, real difficult to see, but my gosh, I absolutely adore some of these marble things here. Might try to get a flash picture with them, because they're just absolutely stellar, but 
This whole area is just really, really great and beautiful here. The um, Mediterranean Harbor, which is pretty much Italy, but I mean, you feel like you're actually in Italy. I, I love it, man. I. All right, everyone. So we're going to go ahead and conclude the vlog here for our second day and final day at Tokyo Disney Sea for this trip. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think we all had a good time here at Tokyo Disney Sea. Yeah. Oh, Rob, dude. That's the face of. Yeah, this park is an Instagram fad, and you know, there's. That's not the craziest criticism we can hear for it. It can seem like it's more of an Instagram fad at times. It is a really good park with beautiful theming and lots of wonder here, but um, it's not an easy park to do. It's almost like climbing a mountain. It's not laid out like Epcot where everything is around a central thing. You have to almost climb mountains to get anywhere and then if you want to hang out in the Arabian coast you have to go back down the mountain which but it's at the very end of the park so you have to go back up the mountain to get back to the entrance so it's not an easy park you really it, it is fun but you gotta plan your day out you can't just wander in here all willy-nilly and if you want to do things like a big band beat lottery or Soren Fast Pass, you need to take advantage of Happy 15 and um, go right to what you want to get your Fast Pass. I would recommend a vacation package if you really have your heart set on big band beat. That's going to be your best way to actually catch it. So a very good park filled with wonder, but also it is not as easy as a lot of people make it out to be. It's not just a, oh, oh, oh I'll run over to Disney Sea. No, it is not like that at all. But overall, a very good park. I am very happy and blessed to have seen it. And I'm Jordan Rolfes from Beagle Rampant Productions. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You know you're the best subscribers of any YouTuber on the planet. And we will catch you with some more Tokyo Disney Resort adventures. Bye. Bye. Bye world, bye!